Is this why we're broke? And tonight we're on the trail of hundreds of deadbeat taxpayers. Let's take a look now. A local school district says it's owed nearly $4 million in back taxes, as you see right there. And Channel 11's Rick Earl shows us how the district is hoping humiliation, that's right, a humiliation technique will convince taxpayers to come forward. $80,000 in delinquent school taxes owed on this boarded up apartment building in Brackenridge. 25,000 due on this recently closed nursing home in Terenum and $50 on this vacant lot. All of these owners are among the thousand names listed on this delinquent tax pamphlet that owe the Highland School District a grand total of $4 million. This 15 page list will be delivered inside the local newspaper for everyone to see. So the public shaming, even the proposition of it appears to have worked somewhat. Seems, seems to work, yes. Yeah, and they're, you know, they're we all have hard times and it's you know not necessarily wanting to shame but i think people want to let them know hey you got to be accountable we're all responsible the district announced the plan six months ago and gave taxpayers the chance to pay up and avoid the embarrassment 149 residents stepped up target 11 got an advanced copy of the delinquent taxpayers and one name stood out to us you're not trying to avoid we're not the taxes we're not hiding anything carl magnetta and his wife owe nearly ten thousand dollars in back taxes on their former ceramic shop Magneta happens to be the mayor of Tarentum. They have the building for sale. As soon as the building sold, the taxes will be all paid. Yeah, it's embarrassing, but at the same time, you know, we'll get over it. The district says about a third of the delinquent properties have been abandoned and are of no use. The others, if they're not paid up, will be sold. Residents who pay their taxes support the district's efforts. I think that's a good idea. If you got the warning, then you should have stepped up and paid the taxes. In addition to being published in the local newspaper, all of these names will also be posted on the school district's website for all to see. The only way to get your name off of that list is to come forward and settle your debt. In Brackenridge, Rick Earl, Channel 11 News. All right, Rick, thank you very much. Well, the district hopes to collect $800,000 from people who signed up for the payment plan. If they miss a payment, there are serious consequences. Their property will be immediately eligible for sheriff sale. We are taking story ideas from Rick Earl all the time. Email them to us at target11 at wpxi.com. We're also on Facebook and Twitter.